Introduction and Classification Partially Edentulous Patient Terminology Prosthetics, The Art and Science of Replacing Absent Body Parts Prosthesis, An Artificial Replacement for a Missing Body Part 4. Prosthodontics or Dental Prosthetics, The Branch of Dental Art and Science that Pertains to the Replacement of Missing Teeth and Oral Tissues to Restore and Maintain Oral Form Function, Appearance, and Health Removable prosthodontics is devoted to replacement of missing teeth and contagious tissues with prosthesis designed to be removed by the wearer. It includes two disciplines removable complete and removable partial prosthodontics. 5. Removable partial denture any prosthesis that replaces some teeth in a partially edentulous patient and can be removed from the mouth by the wearer. 6. Purpose of removable partial denture eye preservation of the remaining teeth and tissues. The primary purpose of removable partial dentures must always be the preservation of the remaining teeth and soft tissues. The provision of partial dentures will prevent or at least minimize the following retrograde pathologies in the oral structures, a drifting and rotation of remaining teeth. B. Continuous eruption of unopposed teeth. 7. C. Overclosure and protrusion of the mandible. D. Trauma to the oral mucosa. Common situation is excessively deep anterior overbite and impingement of the lower teeth into the palatal mucosa. E. Facial or temporomandibular joint pain may result from occlusal derangement occurred due to drifting and super eruption of the remaining teeth and overclosure and mandibular protrusion. A2 to improve masticatory function, replacing the lost teeth in an arch will greatly improve the act of chewing, by eliminating space into which food escape from the occlusal table and also it contributes directly in mastication. 3. Improve aesthetics, restoration of lost facial contour, vertical dimension of the face and absent teeth will improve the patient appearance. For restoration of speech, the artificial teeth should be placed in the position previously occupied by the natural teeth to correct the speech defects. 5. Psychological Benefits The provision of an acceptable partial denture will enhance comfort of the patient. 8. Review of the Diagnostic Criteria 1. Location and extent of the edentulous. Area, S. 2. Condition of the abutment teeth. 3. Occlusal scheme. 4. Residual ridge. 9. This partially edentulous classification. System offers the following potential benefits. Improved intraoperator consistency. Improved professional communication. Insurance reimbursement commensurate with complexity. Of care. An objective method for patient screening in dental education. Standardized criteria for outcome assessment and research. Improved diagnostic consistency. Simplified. Organized aid in the decision to refer a patient. 9. Classification of partially edentulous arches. 10. Classification according to support the partial dentures are classified according to the vertical support into eye tooth born, derives its support totally from the abutment teeth throughout rests. 2. Mucosa born, supported totally by the edentulous ridge. 3. Tooth mucosa support, supported by both abutment teeth and the edentulous ridge as in free end saddle, distal extension base. 11. Kennedy classification Kennedy's classification contains the following four classes, with certain modifications, class I bilateral edentulous areas located posterior to the rema natural teeth. 
Class II unilateral edentulous area located posterior to the remaining natural teeth. Class III unilateral edentulous area with natural teeth both anterior and posterior to it. Class IV single bilateral edentulous area located anterior to the remaining natural teeth. 12. Class I bilateral edentulous areas located posterior to the remaining natural teeth. 13. Class II unilateral edentulous area located posterior to the remaining natural teeth. 14. Class III unilateral edentulous area with natural teeth both anterior and posterior to it. 15. Class IV single bilateral edentulous area located anterior to the remaining natural teeth. 16. Applegate's rules Applegate provided the following eight rules to govern the application of the Kennedy system, Rule 1. Classification should follow rather than precede extraction that might alter the original classification. Rule 2 If the third molar is missing and not to be replaced it is not considered in the classification. Rule 3 If a third molar is present and is to be used as an abutment, it is considered in the classification. 17. Rule 4. If a second molar is missing and is not to be replaced, that is, the opposing second molar is also missing and is not to be replaced, it is not considered in the classification. Rule 5. The most posterior edentulous area or areas always determine the classification. Rule 6. Edentulous areas other than those determining the classification are referred to as modification spaces and are designated by their number. Rule 7. The extent of the modification is not considered only the number of additional edentulous areas. Rule 8. There can be no modification areas in class 4 arches. Any edentulous area lying posterior to the single bilateral area determines the classification. Guidelines for use of the Worksheet Any single criterion of a more complex class places the patient into the more complex class. Consideration of future treatment Procedures must not influence the Diagnostic level. Initial pre-prosthetic treatment and slash or. Adjunctive therapy can change the initial. Classification level. Thanks for watch video. If you like it click subscribe and like and leave a comment below.